Yo, what's up, Duff here? Got my uh, my Be Good Mini here. Just wanted to uh, show you a couple things before I started the range test. Before I start my range test on the Be Good Mini, it's fully charged on its nice little tiny charger, right? This is only a 42 volt wheel, in case you did not know this. I did unbox this in my live stream, which I'll have a link to at the end of the video if you want to check out the live stream where I unbox this. But the unboxing kind of uh, got pushed into the background because of the silliness. Uh, that happened when Roger, Tommy, and Dawn uh, came on the live stream as well. So anyways, yeah, this charger connection is really small. Uh, and, and one thing that I know Marty and others have complained about is if you want to try to open this with the pads on, you can't do it really without using something else, like a, a freaking pencil or a pen or just something underneath that tab. You just can't do it. So my solution to this was when I put these pads on, I only attach the adhesive to this part. So when I want to charge it, I can just kind of lift it up and I can get to it here. <laughs> I can get to it, get to it, open it, and put it back down. That's my that's my rigged solution. Uh, I also took a lot of air out of the tire. This came with more than 50 psi in the tire, and it felt like a freaking uh, piece of concrete. Uh, there was absolutely no give to that tire at all. So I dropped it down. I don't even know what it's at right now. I took a bunch out. Felt better in my ride yesterday. I've also applied the latest firmware. To the mini which allows this top speed to go up to 10 miles an hour i know it's amazing right 10 miles an hour and then i had to make some changes in the app uh, to allow it to actually go to that speed without beeping it was it was still like beeping at six miles an hour and i have to i have to look in the in the app to see exactly which setting i turned off to stop that but now it can uh, it can go up to 10 although i've only had it up to nine officially so we'll see if i can break that on the on the uh, range test and I think I did that nine when I was going backwards actually so so yeah that's that is the state of my mini hey yo what's up Duff here this is my brand new M10 mini and uh, I'm gonna do a range test on this so you don't have to um, yeah uh, let's get going okay so hopefully you can see we're at a hundred percent battery this just came off the charger uh, on the app, it estimates that we can go 10 miles. I don't believe that, but uh, yeah, that's what it says. Uh, I was going to use my GPS, but it's the battery's dead, so you're just going to have to deal with app distance, and uh, we'll we'll call it close enough. Um, let's see what happens. My riding weight is probably uh, between 185 and 190 pounds, and uh, this is supposedly officially rated for only 50 pounds. So there's that, but we'll see. Let's see. Uh, We'll see what kind of trouble I can get into. Mounting this thing can be a little bit of a trick, for me at least. Yeah, so here we go. I'm sure I don't look ridiculous at all, right? Not one bit. I do not look ridiculous. I'm gonna keep telling myself that. So I had the idea of trying to go to, um, to Dunkin' Donuts, but I don't think that's very realistic. Ugh, it feels like I could let more air out of this tire. It's rock hard. Oops, going too fast. Shit. Usually starts to beep around nine. Let's see how fast we're going here. Oh man. Yeah, nine. I'm right at the. I'm right at the ceiling. I put the firmware update on this. I guess I got I have to. I have to train my body to know what nine miles an hour feels like. Because I did hit ten, a new top speed. I hit nine going backwards. We're gonna. Like I said, I had the idea of going to Dunkin' Donuts, but I think it's a bad idea. So I'm just going to kind of go till I'm at like 60 or 50% and then turn around and see what happens. <laughs> oh my god. The nice thing about the Mini is it, uh, it brings you back to a, a, a simpler time. <laughs> Except for the beeping. Uh, it brings you back to a simpler time when, uh, you know, you just rode just for the fun of it and you just, you know, you rode to see new things, to go areas that you wouldn't go if, if you were walking, except for the beeping. Come on, nine miles an hour, body, nine, nine miles an hour. This is what nine miles an hour looks like. I have to train myself, okay. And those of you that don't know, I mean, nine miles an hour is, is, is uh, two miles an hour over the, the prior top speed. Prior to doing this um, firmware upgrade, the top speed was seven miles an hour, so, you know. We, uh, we increased the top end of this thing by leaps and bounds. <laughs> uh, yeah, the M10 Mini is, is not meant for uh, uh, distance or speed, obviously. It's meant for children 
or just to kind of mess around in small spaces. You know, it's, it's super maneuverable, as you can imagine. Super, you know, you can, you can turn like literally on a, on a dot, uh, but not good for uh, open road cruising. Let's just say that. I'm not quite sure that the mileage on the app is correct. This is saying that I've only gone like 675 feet. That's not true. I've gone much further than that. I might have to, um, Oops, oops, I hit 10 again, damn it. Can't do that. Yeah, I might have to go back and measure this, like, um, for real. Because I've gone more than 722 feet. What the heck? Yeah, this, this mileage is not clicking by fast enough, for sure. Um, but it still says I'm at 80% battery, so that's good. So we're gonna keep on rolling. Okay, let's, um, checking in here, the foot comfort. Foot comfort on the M10 Mini. Uh, it's not very comfortable. This is very surprising, I'm sure. Uh, has small pedals designed for a uh, child. I have size 13 feet. Size 13 feet, not, oops, not the most comfortable. But I'll hang in there. This is, uh, you know, this is uh, important. This is a range test. I'm coming up and completing my first lap. It says I've only done one. Okay. So the app, the app evidently um, doesn't know the difference between feet and miles. With feet, it was showing incorrectly. Now that I've passed the mile, it is, it seems like the distance is correct. Uh, or well, more or less, 1.2 miles so far and counting. Battery is still showing 80%. It showed 80% ever since I got on it. Basically, 80 or 90. Uh oh, beeping. Still trucking along. All right, first first lap around the loop is um, basically complete. Now it says on the e-wheel site that the estimated range was between what five and seven miles, something like that. So we'll see. But that might be with a child on it, not an adult. So inquiring minds want to know. Okay, I just realized if I just keep doing circles around here, I'm going to get incredibly bored. Um, not only am I doing eight to nine miles an hour, but um, circles. So I'm going to actually go the direction that I would go to Dunkin' Donuts, and we will uh, we will evaluate things as we go. I wonder if I have any like any women that come up to me and like stop me and like, oh wow, dude, you look so cool. I, I need I, I need to, I need to hang out with you. You're you're you are so cool on that M10 Mini going nine miles an hour, big tall. Uh, lanky guy on an N10 Mini. It's, uh, it's very appealing, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, still, I'm holding nine, up, up, up. Okay, yeah, nine is beeping now. I uh, just, uh, just top 10. Oops, I gotta be careful. I'm not doing anything that could be remotely confused with accelerating. I'm going very slow. But at least I'm very maneuverable. Slow and steady, slow and steady. I'm kind of thinking with the speeds I'm going, sidewalk makes more sense, but then you got people that park out in the middle of the sidewalk like that. Of course, with the Mini, it's very easy to uh, get around them. Oh my God, my feet hurt already. <laughs> I'm uh, 1.9 miles into the journey and my feet hurt. <laughs> not a good sign. Wheels running cool though, 37.6 degrees Celsius, not bad. I just crossed the two mile mark. It still says I'm at 80% battery. Now, Bogoti wheels are infamous for not being very accurate with their mileage, but I don't know. I'm doing slightly better than expected. Going over these little uh, sidewalk transitions makes me a little nervous because it can be like a little bit of a gully. And, you know, I don't want to ask this wheel to do much more than it has to. And balancing me over uh, a gully, the ups and downs of a gully, is not, is not ideal. So I'm just trying to... Trying to squeeze every last mile. Hey, turtles. Hey, turtles. Hey, guys. It's okay. You don't have to leave. It's all right. Turtles are our friends. Sorry I didn't get to scratch its back. I've settled in at a more reasonable seven to eight miles an hour. It keeps the beeps away. Probably uh, get better, uh, better mileage anyways, all right? Better range. So let's... Uh, we're gonna go with seven. See how that goes. Two and a half miles. Two and a half miles. Temperature of the wheel has uh, climbed to 40.8 degrees Celsius. Still shows 80% battery. This, this seems hard to believe. Hard to believe. And if you want to take the optimistic view of this, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely going faster than I would be walking. Uh, seven miles an hour would be a pretty, uh, you know, medium run pace. So. I'm going like the pace of a average jogger right now. Or maybe slightly above average. 
glass half full. We finally have a, some movement of the battery level. Now it says the battery is 70%. I mean, I was half-assed thinking about trying to go to Dunkin' Donuts, but I don't, I don't, I don't think I would make it. Now, if I, if I would have done it right away and not done that, that warm-up lap, maybe, maybe I could. But as is now, I don't, I don't know. Still thinking about it. Foot status report, numb. Both feet are numb, that's fine. Battery just dipped to 60%. Hmm. I'm about, I'm less than a mile from Dunkin' Donuts. F it, I'm gonna go, F it. Yeah, I would say seven to eight miles an hour is the sweet spot as far as cruising on the Mini. I mean, the, the app thinks I can still go eight miles which I don't believe at all. Uh, but I am, I'm at 3.9 miles on the app. So this is, I mean, it is, it's performing better than I expected to be quite honest with you. And uh, I am now on the way to Dunkin' Donuts. And what I'll do is there's a more direct way to go home, uh, which is less mileage. So that's what I'm thinking. Uh, I don't know, I might be able to pull it off and that would be a minor miracle if I do. But God damn, my feet hurt. I forgot to mention when I pulled out of my house, my neighbor was walking their dog in front of their house and they saw me. I must have looked ridiculous. In some ways, this reminds me of when I had that, that $200 wheel from eBay, the step and roll. <laughs> that thing was a piece of junk. This is a way better wheel than that, but I mean, uh, and this has more power. Uh, I think it has a bigger battery too. So, and rolling into the government complex here. But yeah, this is very, uh, uh, well, it is and it is not um, reminiscent of the step and roll, for sure. Uh, foot pain, definitely, definitely reminiscent. It hurt really bad. I can't believe it, but over there it is. At uh, 4.8 miles. Wow. I cannot believe this freaking thing got me to Dunkin' Donuts even with me screwing around and wasting, wasting uh, range in the beginning. The question is, will it get me home? That is the big question. Sitting here enjoying my coffee, give my feet a break, spilling coffee on my shirt. Uh, when I went inside, um, the wheel's sitting out here, and um, the it, it broke connection with the app. So when I reconnect with the app, it reset the mileage. But I know that when I was standing over there, it was at 4.9 miles on the app. So um, I will just add whatever whatever mileage remains to get me home. Knock on metal uh, to the total mileage. And according to the app, it, the the, uh, the voltage on the wheel, it's bounced back up to 70% uh, battery. Let's see what the actual voltage is on the wheel. It's only a 42 volt wheel, if you guys didn't know that. Some do, some probably do not. Let's see what we can show. It seems to be warming up as it's sitting there, probably because it's sitting in the sun. 45.5. Uh, let's see, what is the voltage? Are you going to show me the voltage? No. Should show the voltage though, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, no. Definitely not a smart BMS. I don't use the, the Bagot app much, so yeah, it doesn't actually show me the voltage here. Interesting, at least on the Mini. All right, well, anyways, let me finish this coffee and uh, we'll be on our way. I'm not 100% sure, but it kind of looks like the, the rear taillights are also a battery indicator. You know, kind of like the old uh, older Bagot wheels, Gotway wheels used to do. I mean, that, that kind of looked like 80% though, right? The app says we're at, uh, what are we at? The app says we're at 70%, so all right, let's go. Let's see if we can get home. So to get here, I went the back way, you know, which keeps me off the major roads. Um, it's it's uh, safer, but it's um, longer. Uh, this time I'm going straight up Tamiami Trail. You can't see it now. Going straight up Tamiami Trail and then just make a left, make a left at Rattlesnake Hammock and then one, whoops, and then one more left and then, then we're at my house. So hoping I got the juice to do it. Good. This will maximize the amount of people that see uh, how bizarre this looks, right? It's good. More exposure. More exposure for the M10 Mini, the ultimate range wheel. Battery just dipped to 50%. But I have, yeah, I have less than two miles to go. So, I mean, I think I'm going to make it, which is uh, good news. I think I'm going to make it and I'm going to still have to like do some laps around the neighborhood to get the battery down lower. So, yeah, imagine that. 
Wheel temperature has been steadily going up. We are up to 48 degrees Celsius. Not the danger zone, but it has definitely been uh, increasing uh, throughout the entire ride. I've been meaning to uh, check out a relaxing massage. It looks totally legit, doesn't it? <laughs> I haven't gotten there yet. But who doesn't need to relax, right? I could use a relaxing massage. Whoa, <clears throat> too fast. Uh, we have just crossed the six mile mark. Six miles. Shows my battery's at five, uh, 50 percent. Really? Wow. And my uh, my turn is uh, not too far ahead. This this is gonna. Oops, keep going too fast though. Uh, this is going to exceed my expectations by a large margin, I believe. I don't know if I mentioned that this um, this is only a 42 volt uh, powertrain. Battery's around 184 watts, but. It uses, believe it or not, it uses Samsung 50S cells. Yes, it does. It uses a high performance cell. So yeah, I can tell you the range performance is definitely exceeding my, my expectations. All right, we are, I'm almost home at a total of 6.6 .6 miles. Uh, battery reading is currently 40%. And we are we're trucking. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to take this down to at least 20 or 10. So I guess I got some more riding to do. Thank God my feet are already numb. Figure I'll run up here to the uh, the greenway. Nice little greenway. That's uh, I do uh, some of my speed runs on. It's a good way to burn some more battery. Wheel temperature now 49 degrees Celsius. Uh, battery dipping between 30 and 40 percent. All right, I've now reached the seven mile mark which is the top end of the projected range on this wheel uh 30 percent battery still doing nine miles an hour and getting beat that so wow we are we are in uh unexplored territory at this point i thought i should do the rest of the test backwards nah it would be funny though so the gentleman you see pulling away there on his e-bike he pulled uh, beside me for i don't know 500 yards or so and he's just asking me about this and he said how cool it looked and and um, yeah, he might be, I don't know, he's gonna, I think it sounds like he has a Google search for electric unicycles in his future. He thought it was very interesting. And um, I mentioned earlier, like like one of the things about riding a wheel slow, which, you know, most people don't do anymore, you know, they just wanna go fast and, and uh, crazy. But you get to you get to see things that you don't notice when, when you're flying by things at 30 miles an hour. Like I was cruising along this, this uh, canal over here water super super clear i saw like half a dozen turtles uh swimming in the canal here never would have seen that if i was riding like i normally do there is there is advantages to uh, slowing down taking a breath and just uh enjoying something i think we're all guilty of not doing enough i know well i should only speak for myself and i know i am definitely guilty of that we're, we're trucking along here i'm now at um 7.6 miles 30 percent battery i think i should probably turn around just so I don't get stuck out here. I don't really, I mean, even though the wheel is light, I really don't want to carry a, a 25 or so pound suitcase more than I need to. So we'll double back here. And if I need to burn some more battery when we get closer, the app says I have three miles left, which uh, I doubt, but um, the Bugotti M10 Mini exceeding my range expectations. God damn it. You mother effer. Tried to set it down when I was moving a little bit. Let's see, what did I lose here? Oh, the transmitter. Um, okay. No permanent damage. Okay, I just started uh, hitting 20% and you can hear the beeps, low battery beeps. Um, it's bump, bouncing between 30 and 20, so I think that's, that's a good sign for me to uh, head back, right? I don't wanna be beeping the rest of the ride, so let's, uh, let's get back home and see where we're at. I assume you can hear that. Uh, slightly annoying, but it's not uh, terribly loud. I'm only about a half mile from home, so uh, if that, so I should be good. Even though I am getting continuous beeping, I am maintaining a steady eight miles an hour with no tilt back. Interesting, right? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be damn close to uh, nine miles of, of at least app range when this is all said and done.
Okay, that brake light is definitely also a battery display, right? You got two bars left. The app shows I have 20% battery. And uh, it's beeping nonstop, so we're gonna turn it off. Okay, wow, what do you think about that? I had, uh, before I went to Dunkin' Donuts, I had 4.9 miles on the app. It reset when I went into the store. I registered another 4.1 miles on the ride back. A total of nine miles. Again, app, so it's, it's higher than GPS would be, but still, that's, that is way, way better than I thought. When I first left, I, I was considering going to Dunkin' Donuts. I'm like, yeah, no, there's no way I can do that. And evidently, uh, I can. Would I want to do it again? Uh, I don't know. But uh, it can do it. It's kind of amazing. So yeah, N10 Mini. Nine miles of range with someone my size. Going, going uh, seven to nine miles an hour most of, most of the way. So if you guys found this interesting, I kind of did. Um, please think about giving the video a big thumbs up if this is your first time visiting the channel. It's definitely unlike any uh, range test I've ever done before. Uh, if this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're gonna subscribe, you hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. Uh, what do you think about that performance by the Mini as far as range goes? I'm curious what people will think because I don't think it. a lot of people thought it would be able to get that much with a full-size adult riding it, right? But anyways, yeah, that's all I have for now. Hope you had a great weekend. And until next time, definitely now.